Today we're going to put the wheels and axles and bearings and screw eyes on our CO2 car. Hopefully your CO2 car is painted by now. So let me show you what should be in what you will need to do this. So you will need two large wheels. Two small wheels. Depending on the specifications, you may be allowed to use four small wheels or four large wheels. Or two and two. For this demonstration purposes, I'm going to do two of each. You'll also need to have four brass washers. A straw. Two axles and two screw eyes. So here's my car. And let's start with the straw. The straws are used as bearings for inside the axle holes and they go in the axle hole and we want them going the full length but we don't want them sticking out so we're on just slightly shorter than the width of the car. And those were the pair of scissors. And you can put them in and you'll notice that it does not stick out. So the idea is the inside of the straw is smoother than the inside of the drilled hole and that would reduce friction. So I'll do the back one as well. So you can see I'm cutting it just slightly shorter. Put that in. Okay. Now we need to deal with the wheels. So the small wheels on the outer edge at some point will have a little bump where they were attached, a little nub. So we take a piece of sandpaper and we just sand that off until it's smooth. Same way with the other one. So it's smooth. On the wheels, on the big wheels, this is the outside edge that has the logo, the wheels imprinted. The inside has the hub for the axle. Okay. So on the inside edge of the wheel is where you'll find those nubs. So feel around. And on the big wheels, you may or may not have two of them. They are. They're usually 90 degrees to each other. Do that one. And see, that one only had one. So now we're going to go ahead and put our wheels on. So we take our axle, put it in. You can tap it in, even with something as simple as a pair of scissors. Just tap it down until it doesn't go any farther. We put one of the brass washers on. They act as bearings as well. And then we slide that in through the straw. Put a bearing on the other side the other wheel on, squeeze it tight. Now when you do this, you'll notice they don't spin very well. So we loosen them up just slightly so there's a little bit of play. And they spin. Now we're going to do the same thing for the front wheels. Put that in. Tap it down with my scissors. bearing on and put the axle through. Okay. And then pull it out and they spin nicely. So your car should be ready to roll. Last thing we need to do is put the true screw eyes on. And we want to be careful in locating the screw eyes. 
One of the things we don't want to do is we do not want to drill and put the screw eye directly over one of the axles. If we do, the axle will not turn. The other thing we've got to be careful of is where we put the screw eyes. We want them on the same plane, okay, in line on the same plane. So I would not want, for instance, on this car, I would not want to put an axle right here, and then I would not want to put an axle here, or not an axle, screw eye. I don't want to put a screw eye here and then one here because it'll come through and then down it would rub right here and that will slow the car down immensely. So I drill a small just a small hole in the center. If you'll notice where I drew it in, where I drilled it in the back, it's not directly over the rear axle. So now I can go ahead and I can screw my screw eyes in. And I want to get them down all the way. See, just like that. See, I don't want it like that because there, hear that? It's riding on the screw eye, okay, because it's not all the way down. It's not all the way screwed in, so I want to screw it in. And you can see that one is all the way down. And it does not drag when I roll the car. At this point, your car is ready to race.